and showing up all the time. Did you like the historical piece of it? Did you like preserving history? Did you like the people you worked with? Was there some aspect of it that you liked? You could have been miserable for 21 years. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But this is the whole point. Like yeah. we all complain about yeah. the jobs and say we don't right. like it, but there's something that keeps us showing up every day. Other than the paycheck. Yeah, right? other than that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I suppose I kind of like the idea of being associated with history. Okay, good. Okay, Beautiful. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so tell us, uh, tell us your name and where we are. Okay, my name is Tom Pickenpaw, and we're on the Rock Creek Trail, uh, north of Washington D.C south of Rockville, Maryland, and, uh, and tell yeah, us what you were, the, tell, I'm sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, this is a 14 mile uh, trail here, it goes from the National Zoo area up to Lake Neewood. Yes. We're in the middle yes. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're a little bit more than, yeah, about the middle more. So. And, um, and you are retired from? I'm retired from the Naval Historical Center. Great, and you worked there for 21, 21 years. years. <laughs> and tell me, what did you love about that job? Well, the fact it was associated with the U.S. history, the Navy history, and the, the part that I find particularly interesting with regard to the Navy is the old wooden ships, the sail ships and what have you, as opposed to the steel ships and what have you. Uh, of course, the aircraft carriers, they're, they're kind of interesting too, you know? Yeah. 5,000 people on them. Nice, and, and you said that you helped um, uh, with collections and people who needed it. Yeah, people who were interested in doing exhibits in a museum setting, we loaned them artifacts to help them with their displays and what have you done. That nice. was the idea. Nice. Okay, and, and last question is, what made you really good at your job? What made you stand out? Well, okay, uh, I'm an exceptionally good writer. Excellent. Beautiful. Yeah. Excellent. I've published a book myself. And I stopped writing one book in order to write the book I'm doing. And then I decided the book I had finished, I wasn't real happy with it, so I'm rewriting it. it. Yeah, nice, exactly. I know how that is. So that's what I'm, I'm doing now. I, you know how you have these uh, power ties and what have you in the business world? Well, actually, there's sort of a middle class one and an upper class one, okay? And when you look at the uh, patterns that are on there and the colors and what have you, uh, the patterns essentially go from uh, their continuum and they are basically female at one end and they are basically male at the other end. Is that what your book's about? That's actually no, it's my book is prehistory. Okay. It's dealing with sixty one cultures around the world. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm. So it's you know, it's a real toughie to try and undertake then. And um, so what I wanted to do was to look at modern society to see how it related conceptually from the standpoint of using um, costume and regalia yeah. as symbols of power, you know. Your leader, what does he wear before the, the group as a ceremonial context to show his, his position in society? That's fascinating. So I wanted to say, hey, well, what have we got that is potentially analogous? Yeah, it's really and interesting. And so, the, the most of the time they're wearing a tooth necklace, like a jaguar, canines, a killing tooth then. Or in Africa, they wear a leopard. And in India, I got a couple cases where they are wearing tiger. And in the Pacific Basin, sometimes they're wearing what's called an Indo-Pacific crocodile, which is 20 feet long, 21 feet long, and weighs a ton. Oh my gosh. Oh my and, in the Hawaii, our cases, that area, uh, they wear sperm whale tooth. A male, oh a male sperm whale gets 50 tons. And oh, so it's wow. like, hey, I'm really powerful, you know? Yeah. That's, that's the yeah. idea. Okay? And so today, in today, in our society, today it's the power tie. Well, so okay. you know, since we don't wear teeth John around our neck. Malloy, Dress for Success. Oh, yes. Okay, that's the book I'm using. Nice. Interesting. Yeah. That is awesome. So <laughs> what a nice great stuff. idea. You're, you're fascinating. You really do love history. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank cool. you. Okay, so um, 